What's up? How you doing? I'm Trini Say this. You're tuning into the infamous Living Realm Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're doing right. So how to make it and become successful and attract more money using the law of attraction. Now, I want to tell you something about success. Success knocks at everyone's door every single day. So does money. Success is that silent intuition that's always telling you what you need to be doing as opposed to what you're currently doing. That's success. It's like an internal navigational system. You know, it talks to you intuitively, consciously, always urging you to take a leap of faith or to take a step towards the direction of where it's telling you to go. Now, only 1% of people actually listen to this internal voice that's always whispering and speaking. This voice also comes with a screen, just like a real navigational system. It displays in your mind the things that it sees you doing. Shows you places that you would love to be. Shows you who you truly are in your mind's eye. But only 1% of people actually follow this internal voice. Now, the only way you can make it and become successful is if you do something totally different from what you normally do. Remember, success is always failing forward. So on the road of becoming successful, you're always going to fail, but you will be falling forward. See, the only thing you really need in order to be successful, folks, is have a vision. Know where you want to go. Know where you see yourself in the next five years. If someone was to ask you, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Would you be able to answer that question? This is called vision. If you don't have a vision, you need to instill into your mind things that you want for yourself and be able to see yourself doing it. Otherwise, the inner GPS system that's built in everybody, it doesn't know where you want to go. So you can end up like some people who just expect for life to give them a lot of money or to give them blessings and breakthroughs and miracles, but they just don't have any direction. So the universe doesn't know what they want. So in order to be successful, folks, you have to have a vision. And you have to always be the person who isn't scared to take a risk. You cannot be successful by doing the same things over and over and over every single day, but expecting different results. You cannot do the same thing every single day, but expect different results. In order to experience success, in order to attract new avenues to make money, you have to be willing to give up what you think is comfortable to go into the unknown, do something that you've never done before. Now, of course, this makes all of us feel uncomfortable, especially when we have to do something totally different that we've never done before. But if we've never done it, who's to say it won't work? And even if it doesn't work, guess what? You will still be failing forward. Every successful person can tell you that to get where they are right now, they had to skydive out of an airplane. Now, fear held them back for so long to keep them from wanting to skydive 
or bungee jump or to take a leap of faith or to take a risk and to do something that everybody else told them not to do. But when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired of doing the same thing over and over but not getting any different results, if you really want to change, you will take a risk. You will do something totally different. All to find out, there are numerous ways to make money. Money's always knocking at your door, just like success is always knocking at your door. But you can't be like the 99%. The ones who just stay on the island. You know, they don't want to go out to sea and get on a nice cruise ship because they're afraid of water. <laughs> How many of you are familiar with the story in the Holy Bible where the character Jesus Christ walked on water? Now, nothing from the Bible is to be taken literally because the book is just full of metaphors and parables and dark sayings and fables and things of that nature. Never to be taken literally. Everything is metaphorically speaking and symbolic. The point of the story of when Jesus Christ walked on water is the same story that I'm telling you about right now of how to be successful and how to attract money and how to make it in life. Everybody else stayed on the boat because they were too afraid to even find out if they could walk on water. They've never tried to walk on water. Nobody's never tried to just step out on the ocean to see if they would walk on water in the middle of the ocean. They never knew it. Jesus Christ did something different why everybody else wanted to be on the boat and be comfortable. That's how you make it in life. It's symbolic. Another story that I like to relate to, and I'm pretty sure you can relate to, is when the fisherman, Peter, in the Bible was not catching any fish. He was wondering why he was not catching any fish. And then that same guy, Jesus came along and just told him something so simple. Why don't you cast your net to the right side? You've been fishing on this side for so long. Why don't you just do something different for a change? Take a risk. You've never done it before. You never know what you're going to get out of it. This is how you become successful, folks. This is how you become successful. You have to take a leap of faith. You have to skydive. You have to give up something that you're holding on to. And you have to just make a transition to do something that you've never done before. And I can guarantee you, you will notice that something was always there the whole time. The same thing that's supporting you right now will be the same higher power that supports you if you decide to do something totally different that you've never done before. That's how I was once upon a time. Once upon a time, I was comfortable. I was listening to what everybody else was telling me because they were afraid. So they wanted me to be safe, you know, with just enough. It's okay to just be average. Most of us are, so you're not alone. We can all feel comfortable together. Yeah, Trinis, just stay right there. Even I'll be supporting you, Trinis, if you just stay right there. But if you go out there, I can't do too much to help you. Okay, that's the wilderness. There's a jungle out there. It's dangerous. That is called uncharted territory. That is the unknown. Not too many people go out there in those woods. So just stay here. And you'll be safe. But I chose to do something different. It wasn't fulfilling. It wasn't making me happy. It wasn't satisfying. 
And so I tried many different things. I took risk and I took another risk and I took another risk and I did that. That didn't work. I failed. I did that. That didn't work. I failed with that. that tr I tried to do it. That nobody was helping me with that. I tried to do that. It failed. It failed. It failed. And I finally found something that made me happy. I finally found something that made me feel more fulfilled. And that's talking to you, telling you this very story of what it was like with me taking a risk, doing something I've never done before, sacrificing my last little bit of monies to buy books that would help me develop my mind power, spending my last little bit of money to go to seminars where people were talking about success. Number $20 left in my pocket at the end of the day. So I'm saying that all to say this, folks. If you want to make it and become successful and attract money, you got to follow the vision that you have. See, the vision can only be revealed to you more and more and more the more that you follow the vision. But if you just stay confined to what you know, the vision will just be a picture. It'll never start moving around, you know? It'll never become like a holographic picture where you can just see it three-dimensionally. You just see a picture. But when you start going after the vision, without having any instruction manual, without having people around you to tell you how to do it, when you just start feeling the desire to want to go after it because you ain't got nothing else to lose because you have to do it. It's one life to live. You only get one time to be at your most highest potential in this life. You only get one shot to be your greatest version. Will you take leaps of faith to see to it that your vision comes to pass? Or will we be talking about this 30 years from now? On how to still do it. Okay? So, I'm assuming you're at 1%. Everybody else is at 99.9%. Okay? So, let's manifest things, folks. Let's go after the things that we want for ourselves. And don't look back and become a pillar of salt. Let's continue to move forward. And even if it requires us to fail a few times, at least we'll be failing going after something that we really truly love to do living a life that we really truly want to live versus settling for less okay so again i'm training Henderson, folks thank you so much for tuning in make sure you hit the subscribe button right below this video beside my name and make sure you hit that bell notification so that you can be notified with new videos every 24 hours also, if you're looking for a quick change and you need me to assist you, you need me to help you manifest something super fast, folks, I want to introduce you to, once again, my Vortex Manifestation class. It's the best class that I have. A lot of people have signed up for it and it's done wonders for them and I'm pretty sure it can do the same thing for you. So I want to continue to introduce you to this Vortex class, folks. If you're willing to take risk and to go after the things that you want to attract into your life and live the life that you want to live, you'll never regret the decisions that you're making, even today. Thank you so much for tuning in, folks. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.